Frazier or welcome if you are new don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you would follow us along on this new journey that we have going on um, if you don't know we're moving to Florida from Nebraska it's about 1500 miles away from our home here and we got to get everything ready to go so if you haven't already definitely go back and check out my last video um, that was kind of the beginning story of this process and yeah, so today we need to go ahead and get all the bedrooms done, which the girls' bedrooms are pretty much done um, for the most part. I kind of don't film a whole lot in there. I kind of let them keep their privacy. Freddie's still little. He doesn't care. So we're going to go ahead and get Freddie's room together. I'll flip you around. Show you. Um, we need to uh, take the bed off there, bring out his toy box and then I'm gonna go ahead and box all this stuff up and get everything kind of ready to go and then probably load it up I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna load it or not but we're gonna get a, it all ready to go at the very least and then also the other thing in our list for this video is our bedroom we need to take apart the bed get the dress or the dresser chest of drawers all taken emptied out and take them down to the trailer and then we also need to clear out the um whatever these are called <laughs> nightstands and get those all taken care of get the decor off the wall all that jazz uh we also need to go into the bathrooms and get everything basically cleared out of the cabinets down under here out of those cabinets and then also in our other bathroom um, I need to clear out the linen closet and all that. So, we have a lot ahead of us. Uh, so, come along with me. I do need to clean some of our furniture before we get it packed up into the trailer. It's a little bit dusty. Guys, things have been super hectic around here. So, definitely come along with us. Um, let's let's jump right into this. Alrighty guys, so we're going to go ahead and start off here in Freddy's room and just get everything packed up and ready to go. Uh, we just made sure that everything made its way down to the basement so that way once Fred got home it could be loaded up on the trailer. give a quick shout out to those of you that have left messages or sent messages left comments you know just in love and support and sending prayers and stuff for our uh, journey to Florida and I just want to say thank you so 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 much it is so appreciated you guys are amazing. I have seriously the best subscribers and I am so grateful for each and every one of you. It seemed in the moment that the easiest way to move his toys was just to put them all in the toy box and just wrap them up 
and carry the toy box down to the trailer, but I will tell you what, this sucker was heavy. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I had my girls helping me, and they did a great job getting it down the stairs. Uh, but I'll tell you that I was told last night <laughs> by Aiden, the one there in the black and gray, she told me last night, she's like, Mommy, I am so thankful that the next house does not have stairs. And you know what? I agree. I I agree a thousand percent. Uh, you'll see here in a little bit me helping Fred carry out our dresser. And I am very thankful that that does not have to go back upstairs <laughs> in the next house. It is a one level ranch style house. So I'm super thankful there will be no stairs because carrying all this stuff up and down the stairs is hard work, you guys. It is, it's a lot. Even when you're in shape, like my husband runs up and down stairs like all day carrying appliances and it's still a lot for him. So anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and get this closet packed up. It was easiest just to kind of take the totes off the shelves and put them in a huge OTR box. So that's what we're going to do, and then get these games packed up, and everything else should be pretty much done. His room was probably the easiest, by far, out of this entire house. so excited for you guys to see our new house so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so definitely get those notifi notification bells turned on because you're going to want to be notified every time I upload we have a lot of plans coming up here soon um, we have this is the second to last video you will see in this house next video will be like a deep cleaning or just a, I guess, move out clean, uh, if you will, and just kind of finalizing uh, packing boxes and that. So that'll be the final video for this house, and then the new adventure starts. In our new home, in our new Florida home, I am so excited, you guys. It is like 20 minutes to the beach, right near city center, so we'll be able to be right in the heart of jazz festivals just music and activities and we could not be more excited you guys we are so excited to live the floridian lifestyle and just enjoy life so you're definitely gonna want to follow along we have again so many plans for our new home um some updating accent walls like diy accent walls deep cleaning because you know it's got to be done before you move in <laughs> and a lot of decor and updates throughout the home so definitely follow along i am so excited to share this all with you guys For another day of packing uh, <laughs> yesterday we got Freddie's room done we finished loading up the girls stuff which I didn't show because I kind of just let them since they're older they kind of like to keep their privacy a little bit more so I don't really show the girls stuff a whole lot um, but anyway so we got Freddie's room finished up now we need to move on to the bathroom so as you can see I'm in the bathroom um, we need to get you know decorations down uh, get the uh, cupboards all cleaned out uh, yeah this cupboard as well <laughs> and then 
um, the other bathroom has the linen closet. So that'll all need to be cleaned out and packed. You guys, I'm wore out. Like, I'm not gonna lie, this is, this is a lot. It's overwhelming. We've lived in this house for 10 years. <sighs> It's just been a lot and um, um, unfortunately and fortunately you guys don't see that all here on YouTube. It's not something, not all of it that I've shared. Um, you guys just see, you know, 30 minutes or so or 20 minutes of our life and I love sharing it with you but dang, I just want to keep it real <laughs> and your girl's exhausted, um, overwhelmed, exhausted, all of the above. So. Anyway, guys, we're gonna get you turned around and we're gonna move on to the next step and get some more stuff packed. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. I waited until almost the last minute to get these bathrooms packed up and all the cleaning supplies, um, mainly because they're liquids and I really didn't want to pack any of the liquids because I don't really know the best way to pack them. Um, if you saw my last video, I did put like the coffee syrups all in a bag and then tied it off and then sealed up the box. So while I'm going along, like here in the bathroom, for example, um, if there was like toothpaste or uh, tubes of stuff that aren't in like a box, just in case they do decide to open up during shipment or our move, I did put them inside of a sealed Ziploc bag. So that way, you know, there's no accidents. I don't end up with toothpaste or lotion or whatever all over the place from, you know, an explosion in the box, because that would really not be a good situation. Uh, side note, I do this also when we pack suitcases, when we go out of town um, on vacation and stuff like that. I always make sure that it goes in a Ziploc bag, and I always carry extra Ziploc bags with us, so. to apologize to you guys if this if I sound really echoey I I apologize because with nothing on the walls and an empty house you never realize how echoey things get until you're sitting here talking so it, it's super echoey in here I hope it's not translating on the video if it is again I apologize but anyway, we're going to clean out the medicine cabinet. You guys, I cannot believe how much medicine I had in this closet. Things from when I was having babies. <laughs> My youngest is eight. So I went ahead and just packaged them all up and took them over to the local pharmacy so they could be disposed of. Having to plan for this move and still live everyday life has been quite an experience. <laughs> um, we we have softball tournaments coming up like five hours away in Minnesota. And then literally as soon as we get home, we are headed to Florida. So it's been quite uh, chaos. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least and needing and knowing what to leave out and not to pack and then making sure you know that we have the things that we need we definitely have packed things that I'm like well I thought I needed that but I guess I don't anymore because it's already 
on the truck and loaded and it's buried and I can't go back through and dig through it all so this has been quite the eye-opening experience uh, lots of mistakes have been made but hopefully hopefully we never have to do this again <laughs> face in my dreams I can't escape you like a movie on repeat the scenes just go on I'm all right guys so I'm a little nervous <laughs> see how the girls closet is okay it's not as bad as it usually is um we just have you know normal stuff toilet paper and all that so I am going to pack up most of the towels except for maybe like four hand towels. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of time left so I think packing up pretty much everything is okay. I'm not going to pack up the mop in that because I will be using that to clean um, here in a couple days. But looks like I can pretty much pack up everything. I'm going to leave a couple of rolls of toilet paper behind like I did in the other bathroom. Um, yeah, and then just leave out like some regular stuff that they that the girls are still using and then I just have to take the decor off the walls um, the shelves are stained actually I'll pack up all the toilet paper since they have three rolls there and a new one on the toilet so um, I'll take the wreath but those shelves are stained and I think I might leave the shower curtain behind um, because I did buy something different for the new house so even though I love the shower curtain but I don't need it anymore so anyway let's go ahead and uh, get to this to this bathroom <laughs> I wanna escape you I really think I made a big mistake I want you to know I can't stand the thought of losing you tell me do you uh speaking of mistakes this is where I made some of them. I thought I pulled out all the toothbrushes for my children. Uh, and unfortunately, after they were already packed and put away and taken away from the house, I realized that not all the toothbrushes made it out. <laughs> so, yep, um, I think it's Kendall's toothbrush is packed away and unfortunately, we had to get her a different one. But, you know, again, mistakes happen. We're human. <laughs> it's just a funny story that we'll be able to tell later on in life, I guess. Don't tell me it's over now. Don't tell me it's over. Cause every song just reminds me of you and I'm not sure if you know this or not, but if you guys have any old towels or towels that you're not using anymore for whatever reason, if you upgrade or, or change out your color scheme or whatever it is, definitely take your old towels to your local humane society or animal shelter because they use those for a variety of things. Um, we recently changed out most of our towels in got all white towels so our humane society was so grateful to have all those or even like some old blankets or sheets stuff like that they are so appreciative of that so if you are looking to get rid of some towels blankets sheets you know old ones that you guys no longer use anymore don't throw them away don't donate them to your local goodwill but take them over to the humane society i promise they'll get used and they will be so appreciative just want to make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road On another note, <laughs> I see these baskets here, these red and white checkered baskets. I got these when we first moved into this house almost 10 years ago. They were a clearance find, a Valentine's clearance find at Target. And I think I paid like 10 cents for them. And they have held up all these years. I'm, I'm quite surprised. However, although I am loading them up and packing them in the boxes, I'm using them more for organization purposes as far as packing goes. But once we get to Florida, I probably will just be donating them because we have 
or we, I say we, like, <laughs> Fred cares what I do. Um, I have some other organizing things that I would like to do instead of using me. So definitely make sure you're subscribed because you're going to want to come along with that and check out the new organization of our new linen closet because it's no longer in the bathroom. It's actually in a different area of the house. So definitely hit the subscribe. Blah. I, you guys, I'm struggling with words. Definitely hit the subscribe button <laughs> so you don't miss out on any organization uh, motivation, you guys. <laughs> I am seriously, uh, I am struggling. I am exhausted from packing and just your normal everyday life and the speech is failing. I apologize, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. Hopefully y'all are following along. Uh, you guys have been such troopers through all of this and I appreciate you all so very much. I wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does So baby, bye It's for the best and you know why You gotta leave me here right now Before we make this even worse for sure on the struggle bus with this drawer I don't know what the deal was it was not sliding into place and it didn't look broken but I was I was over it I said forget it I put it back in taped it closed um, side note tip here tape all your drawers so that way it's so much easier just leaving everything in the drawers you tape them and then they won't open and stuff won't fall out so much easier but Anyway, again, struggle bus. I don't even I don't even know at this point. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so bathrooms are pretty much done except for like stuff that we will still need for the next couple days. Um I really need to work on the bedroom. I'm going to try to get as much done. We have to go to dinner with somebody tonight um, to kind of say our goodbyes. So um, I want to kind of get, I have like an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get as much done in the bedroom as possible uh, before the hubby gets home and we have to leave. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. We can do what we like, like baby while we're young. So to save room on boxes, we as a family of six have multiple suitcases. So we packed a lot of like our winter clothes or clothes that we won't be wearing between like now and our move basically. Um, we packed everything or as not everything but as much as we could into the suitcases because you're taking the suitcases anyway so you might as well just fill them up. So that's what we did. I'm just, and you can see here, I'm just loading all of my winter clothes, like all of my t-shirts that I'm not going to wear, my jeans, leggings, winter lounge pants, all of that stuff just got loaded into the suitcases and then any like capris and stuff like that because I definitely won't be wearing any capris anytime soon because it's been over, it's been, let's see, over 90 degrees here in Nebraska. Um, I mean, running close to hundreds and stuff. And it'll be nice and warm in Florida, so. I know I won't be using any of those clothes, so I just loaded up the suitcases and hauled them out of there.
in this bag trick with the clothes you guys saw me do in Freddy's closet, it works so well. You literally just take a garbage bag, start from the bottom of the clothes, work your way up, and then tie it around the hangers. It has made things so much easier to move, like clothes and hangers and stuff. And then if you have like uh, a garment bar, I think is what it's called, or you know, a bar you can hang in your car. You would even use like a shower rod um, to hang across and hang your stuff on in the bags, but at least they're protected, but hanging. You know what I mean? So definitely made life a lot easier. We do not have a garment bar, but you could also do this if you have like garment boxes, um, but it still made it easier. So that way when we get to our new home, I can just hang everything up and rip the bag right off. Or I could honestly, you know, untie it and save the bag and not waste, waste them. <laughs> but either way, so much easier. Definitely try it if you guys are moving. Pick up where we left off. You and I had lots of love just to top it off. We can run and down for days, never let it stop. I just want your everything, baby. Maybe later we can dance, never let I figured now was a good time to mention if you guys have not checked out any of my decluttering videos definitely do that for a whole bunch of decluttering motivation I can't remember it wasn't too long ago I went through my closet here and decluttered like half of my wardrobe and you guys I'm gonna be honest it's because I knew that at some point we were moving so over the past few years you know we We've been decluttering. Um, actually, to go back on kind of the beginning of our plans to move to Florida, Fred and I made the decision about seven years ago. We made a five-year goal plan that we wanted to leave Nebraska and move to Florida. Um, we just loved it there on our first vacation. It was beautiful. We're not very big on the snow and cold here in Nebraska. So, you know, it just kind of made sense. And we love the ocean and we just kind of wanted to give our kids a different life than what we had growing up. Um, we feel like there's not necessarily more opportunities, but different types of opportunities down in Florida. So we made the plan to move about seven years ago. Um, our five year goal plan I happened to come across you know come up in 2020 uh we all know what happened in 2020 woohoo <laughs> the thing that changed our lives you know um but anyway so because of that our five-year goal plan kind of got put off a little bit uh six years came and it was kind of looking a little more promising so we were definitely going through things decluttering all with the hopes that we would eventually move um, and then the opportunity struck uh, this year, and so we jumped. We said we the opportunity again presented itself, and so we said let's go. So if you're wondering why I'm not decluttering a whole bunch of things, that's why. However, these t-shirts that you're seeing now, these are all t-shirts from when I was in high school, and so I decided that I would share them with my girls. So. Anyway, definitely check out those other decluttering videos. You'll get tons of motivation from them, I promise. Uh, but that's kind of your answer of why we have not uh, decluttered a whole lot. Well, at, at least out of my closets, because we have actually decluttered a whole lot. We've decluttered like half of our house. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to quit rambling and we're going to get back to this motivation. been feeling something for you lately and i am trying so hard to just stay cool one more little tip here vacuum storage bags are a must when moving they are amazing they cut down on like half of your room when it comes to pillows and blankets you'll thank me later definitely use them whether you're moving or not store your holiday decor seasonal decor I promise you'll thank me. I'll leave them down in the description for you guys. A link. A link, that is. A link 
to these great bags down in the description. <laughs> Oh, my favorite thing, you guys. I'm so excited for that red bag. You're definitely going to want to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss what is in that red bag. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to come back and see because it will be in a video coming up soon at some point. I am so excited for what is in that bag. We bought that on vacation like a year ago. Again, with the intentions of using it in a new home. Oh, I'm so excited. I've wanted one of those for my entire life. I mean, that might be a little dramatic, but for a very long time, for as long as I can remember, I have wanted one and I bought one and I am so excited that I will finally be able to use it. So you guys are definitely going to want to come back and see what is in that red bag. Also, if you'd like to take a shot at it, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you think is in that red bag. I'll let you know if you're right. Another tip here, when you are taking apart furniture, and if you have the ability to do so, take the screws that you have unscrewed and screw them back in after you take the furniture apart. That way you don't lose your screws. Um, if you have to leave them out, put them in a little Ziploc bag and then put them in the drawer of like your dresser or whatever is going to be in that room so that way you don't lose them and you know where they're at. Um, I'm going to be honest, I did not screw the screws back in for that mirror, and I did put them in a Ziploc, however I did not put them in the dresser. I do know where they're at, but hopefully we don't lose them, but that is my tip, that is what I planned on doing, and your girl forgot. I don't know, sidetracked I guess. Uh, to, my mind is too busy with everything else to have remembered all my tips, but do as I say, not as I do, right? <laughs> how to pack that jar I guess it's not really a jar vase I don't know it has seashells in it from our very first trip to Florida and I wasn't really sure how to pack it because I didn't want to jump dump the shells out of it so I just put it inside the bag and kind of pulled the bag tight over the opening uh, and then wrapped it in bubble wrap 
hopefully it rides like that. I think it will. It seemed pretty secure. Uh, but I don't know. I, I was kind of on the struggle bus with that. And I also used a bag to pack up the candles because I don't want them to melt. Uh, it's summertime all throughout the Midwest. We're going to be driving through the South. Uh, down into Florida and I don't know if those candles will melt or not I've left Christmas candles like out in our shed all summer long and sometimes they melt and sometimes they don't so I was a little concerned about that so I definitely put the candles in a garbage bag before packing them in there just in case they melted they didn't melt all over everything else and I guess if there's a mess it's inside the bag hopefully hopefully it will stay contained inside of that bag. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death. Look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on like that. Going through our nightstand, or hour, why do I see? Gosh. My nightstand, <laughs> going through my nightstand, I found so many things that I had forgot about. Uh, books that I picked up that I meant to read that I didn't that were in there. I found super cute cards from my kiddos. Cards from Fred from like Valentine's Day and stuff like that from years and years and years ago. A long time ago. I also found pictures. Um, you just saw me hand off a picture of Mia when she was a baby. Um, almost 15 years ago, you guys, with my mom. It was the cutest picture ever. Um, yeah, so that, I will say that has been one of the things that has been really hard about moving outside of the, like, legit just packing. Um, but going through the memories and stuff with, like, pictures and all that of loved ones. You know, my grandparents are all gone now, and then my mom is gone as well, and even my husband's mom. You know, and just going through and finding pictures and stuff. It definitely made it hard going through and seeing all those. You know, it definitely got you all in, got us all in our feels, <laughs> if you will. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get this decor off the walls and just finish up packing. It, it's been, this day was a very, very long day. Um, it was. I got the bathrooms done and then we did the bedroom and I would say our bedroom was probably the hardest room to pack and just get everything loaded up. It, it was quite a lot. So we're going to go ahead and get this bedroom finished up here. I'm just going to go ahead and load as much as I can into boxes. Fred is helping me get things vacuum sealed and then we're going to clean out his side of the closet. So this, like I said, this was a very long day. Once we got all of Fred's clothes bagged up, I kind of just stopped filming. Um, we really just needed to get our bed taken apart, get everything downstairs and loaded up. I, I think it was like 2 o'clock in the morning before Fred even got to bed this night. It, it was just extremely long. But anyway, guys, so this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you so, so much if you made it this far. I know it was a long one, and I appreciate you so very much. Uh, if you did make it this far, put a little heart emoji or a little smiley emoji down in the comments letting me know who you are because I'm going to give you guys a shout out. So... 
Anyway, guys, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And we will see you in the next one. Don't forget, the next video is the last video in our Nebraska home. So, anyway, love you guys. Have a great weekend.